All right, we're on. I have John Jay edited it for me. There you go. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian McNich, Chair of the Collin County Libertarian Party. Thank you for attending tonight's uh, Executive Committee meeting. Uh, tonight's agenda is going to include our introductions of our EC members and our candidates. We'll provide you a quarterly summary of what we've been doing during Q2 of this year. Um, our mission and vision, organizational strategy that we've decided to adopt going forward, um, our financials, revenue expenditures, etc. cetera, um, opportunities, upcoming past opportunities, and then some time reserved for questions and answers. CCLP leadership. As I said, my name is Brian McNich, I'm the chair. We have uh, Delilah Heatherly. Vice Chair and Event Coordinator, September Gehring, Secretary, Steve Nichols, who is now State Vice Chair and also our District Director, one of our District Directors, I'm sorry, Jim Prindle, who's also a District Director, and Michael Jones, who's uh, been active in a lot of our meetings, who is a Precinct Chair. Um, would you all like a few minutes to uh, introduce yourselves, or do you want to move on? Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> so we have a few nominated candidates, um, one of which is here tonight, two of the others weren't able to make it. But uh, first one's Ed Kless. He's running for Texas State Senate in Senate District 8, uh, running against Florence Shapiro. Uh, his website is www.electkless.com. With Chris Clayter running for the U.S. House and Congressional District 3. He's running against Sam Johnson. Website is www.claytorforcongress.org. And we also have Jim Prindle, who's with us tonight, uh, running for um, Congressional District 4 against Ralph Hall, 30-year incumbent, I believe. 30-year incumbent, 60-year politician, and as of Monday, now the oldest member in Congress. Wow, the oldest member in Congress. Uh, Jim's website is www.prindleforcongress.com. So, start off with a quarterly summary. Um, we had a, lo a lot of events, a lot of progress made this quarter. Um, state convention was one of the highlights where uh, our very own Steve Nichols was nominated and elected state vice chair. For we uh, also um, nominated and elected, um, what's her name, Catherine Youngblood Glass was the whole name, I can never remember the Youngblood part, as our gubernatorial candidate for the Libertarian Party of Texas. She'll be running against Bill White and Rick Perry in the November elections. We also had our national convention, um, it was held in, I think, late May, it's late May in St. Louis. And uh, we have a new um, national chair, and his last name is Hankel. I can never remember his first name. Mark. Mark Hankel. Mark Hankel. And from what I've read about the guy, he's an outstanding guy. He brings a lot of experience, a lot of fresh ideas at the table. So um, it's really good to hear. Uh, third on our list is membership. I uh, just wanted to kind of briefly touch on uh, some of our growing membership with NMR Party. We've had, I think, just from Q2 alone, we've had about, I think, approximately 15 new people join our meetup group, and then another, uh, approximately another 15, not exactly the same people, uh, register on our website to receive our newsletter and whatnot. So, um, the party's growing, we continue to get new people joining, a lot of, a lot of new ideas, so that, that's really good to help the party grow and sustain the momentum we'll build. Um, CCLP website newsletters, uh, if you visited the website lately, you probably noticed some slight changes in format and content. Uh, we've added the mission and vision statement, which we'll get to here in a minute. Um, we've also begun sending out articles that are written by Gary Reed, who's a, a local libertarian, does some freelance blogging and, and authorship online. So um, we do that. And then um, organizing, planning, and strategizing. We've uh, The EC members have been uh, holding semi-monthly brainstorming sessions in addition to our monthly socials. And what we've been doing at that is sharing a lot of ideas, getting a lot of the content that's being presented tonight um, prepared so we can execute on those ideas in Q3, Q4, and going forward. So 
Um, and again, I'll touch on those here in a minute. So, one of the things that we really focused on was our mission and vision for the party. Um, this will lay the, the, the groundwork and give us direction and purpose as a party and where we want to go, how we want to do it, where we want to be. So, um, camera probably can't see it, so go ahead and read the mission. The purpose of the CCLP is to advocate the principles of the Libertarian Party, specifically liberty, freedom, and limited government, to the voters of Collin County. The CCLP's primary stakeholders are its members and nominated candidates. It is the responsibility of the CCLP to increase membership, influence public policy, and support nominated candidates. The CCLP will do so by representing Collin County at state and national conventions, partnering with other regional county parties, organizing and engaging in outreach events, canvassing precincts, and supporting nominees' campaigns. So as you can see, we've got a lot to do, but we've got a lot of really good ideas on how we're going to do it. So, so the vision for our party, um, we're kind of setting the time frame um, this year and onward into 2012. By 2012, the CCLP will evolve from a grassroots movement and become a competitive local political party. CCLP's membership will grow by 50% and have had LP party candidates elected to local seats. So again, somewhat ambitious goals, but um, I think it's, you know, with the direction and momentum that we've kind of got going and built, that, that I think these are very attainable goals. So. Brian? Yeah. What's our current membership so we can benchmark it at what a 50% is? Do you have that available? or? That's why we use percentage. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I actually don't know what it is. I, 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 could, I could find it, but um, if we have two people and we have another person join, then we've achieved our goal. Okay. No. Technically. Yeah. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> no, I was just wondering, more like, people three. Because we have, what, 60, 90, something like that? We on have on Meet Up, Up, we have 96. 95, 96, they keep joining, so it's somewhere in the high 90s now. But that's not the, the membership that we're talking about with this growth, or? Um, altogether, what I, what I would really like to have here is actually you know, like um, dues-paying members. Okay. That are actually joined the party and, and have signed the, um, the, uh, aff the affiliation. Oath of affiliation, I think it's called, right? Um, actually have signed that and become a, you know, a dedicated member to the party. So until so. we figure out some kind of due structure, we don't have a baseline yet. Right. Okay. Right. Right. So, does that answer your question? Oh, yes, sir. Like Thank you. Anything else? So, um, one of the big things, because the, the party's kind of been, um, I wouldn't say so much directionless, at least within the last year, because we've done a lot in the last year, but prior to that, it's kind of not had a lot of direction, a lot of leadership. So, uh, one thing we really wanted to focus on was uh, organizational strategy with the mission and vision statements in mind, how we're going to accomplish those. So, uh, executive committee restructuring. Um, we actually have an EC, again, um, many of whom are here tonight. Um, so, we've already introduced, I think, everyone on the EC. We're still in need of a treasurer, so if there's anyone that's interested in becoming our treasurer, please let me or any of the EC members know. I'd like to nominate our new guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a good start because we've got leadership, we've got people that are motivated and uh, you know, taking care of the party, so to speak. So. Um, and then for the volunteers, um, we've decided to appoint an outreach director who um, we have yet to appoint, but we have designated a position for that. Um, the, we would uh, also appoint regional coordinators who would oversee zip code captains and precinct chairs. So for the county structure, we would be dividing the county up basically into four partitions, uh, northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. Um, divide those into four 